Welcome back to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. I'm so excited to get into some things, honey, with my first guest, y'all. Let me tell you, I was just minding my business, doing my own thing, scrolling through Twitter when I came across a real spicy video on my screen. Today, Lifetime Television's Little Women's Tanya Tiana is here to talk about it. Oh God, I am so excited for my first guest tonight. I just want to open up with saying, who is Tanya Tiana? Um, Tanya Tiana is a singer. I dropped one song this year on my birthday. I have a, a brand that I wanted to start pushing. So I wrote a 420 anthem. And um, I wrote that, but I have a lot of music that a lot of my fans have already heard. And I hate calling them fans, but I really don't know what else to call them. You, you, you so. call them family, like F-A-N. Uh, M I L Y oh, family. family. I like that's that. what I that's what I call my fan base, my family. I like that. But wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a 420 anthem, so you like to smoke. I, I do. I'm a big sativa diva. So I'm not a weed smoker, so I wouldn't know what what. So what. sativa is like an upper, and indica is like a relax you. So girl, how did you get into smoking damn weed? Like I guess I could say my brother. My brother was a smoker, and then I've learned all the medicinal benefits of the plant, and so I started my own brand called Like Body Hemp's. Um, next year, I'm going to be starting my own farm. So you are so deep into this situation yeah. <laughs> that you're going to start your own own farming. Yes, yes. To harvest the, the, the marijuana. Yes. Are you going to sell it? I am. Oh. Next year, that's what I'm doing. In Georgia, it's legal to sell CBD. What's the difference in between the so two? So CBD is something that's not, it, it takes the high part out, what people will say, you're getting, you will get high off of it. The THC. The THC. I don't really like smoking marijuana because I think that it, it it brings me down like when so I'm everybody food. everybody's different I've had some CBD that you. had me like really like ooh. like super relaxed well that's what that's what it'll do it'll, but it also had me super horny it'll do that too so, and then my song 420 I was like and I love a nice hit before I lick that's what I'm talking about I like to smoke a blunt before I get some head or whatever oh I do. it's so much more that we can explore about cbd and marijuana so much, and stuff like that. but i really want to dabble into your life yeah let's do it you've been seen on little women atlanta the tv mm -hmm. series on lifetime what, what has your tv journey been like i had a good time on the show little women atlanta just because it was my first time like hanging and actually spending time around people that were a little like me so it was like different seeing it right here <laughs> With me, you know, at first, I was almost like people, when they meet little people, they act like asking all these questions. I'm asking them questions. I'm like, please tell me what is the wrong thing to say to a little person? Everyone always asks me that. A lot of little people don't like to be called midget. I don't really get offended by anything that you call me. Well, I say just use the term little person, or you can say dwarfism. There's hundreds of different kinds of dwarfism. Like my form of dwarfism is called pseudoachondroplasia and I have short limb dwarfism. I have to get a hip replacement on my left side. When the doctor does that, it's also gonna extend me like another inch. So I've had a sexual encounter with a little person. I'm five foot six yeah. without my shoes on. And so I thought that it was gonna like really like freak me out a little bit. He was very well endowed. And so I was like, whoa. It felt very normal. You being a little person, how is sex? Um, I think it's, it's pretty normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's right. normal. Everyone think it's going to be like, I don't know, having sex with a unicorn or something, but. So Jimmy Smacks and your video went extremely viral. Yeah. Because the way you were staring into his eyes and it was just so much seduction. And yeah, that like, was that was his idea. He was like, look, I'm going to do this. So I was like, all right. He was like, watch, watch. I was like, all right. But it was a business thing. and You guys made money off of that. That was yeah. very smart. And see, this is why you. The internet need to mind y'all business. Mind the business that pay you. And you'll, you'll be a richer person next week. That video on Twitter right now has like 5.9 million views from where he posted it. I reposted it on my Instagram and I talked about it on my show. And I'm going to tell you, I got in hot water. There were some little people who were, were wearing me out because I didn't know oh, what to say. Like, I was like, this was, I was so... Like, just like engulfed in the situation because I'm like, he is so big over her. Someone wrote in the comment section, they said, Madison, this bothers me because when I look at her and she's sitting on that man's lap, I'm worried if being attracted to her the way that he's attracted to her, would he be attracted to my young nine-year-old or eight-year-old daughter? There is not a child on this earth that's this much like, <laughs> that has a body like me. Yes. Or a face like me. Right putting me in the category with a child just because of my height is kind of like, 
Why are you looking at me like a child? Because at this point, I feel like they're sexualizing children mm. because I'm not a child. Why does someone have to now be a pedophile or something like that because they're attracted to a little woman? Yes, because you I are mean, a woman. And you are a woman because what? You have children. I have I mean, three I'm, children. You have three children. Yes. Now, you, you, your kids, are mm -hmm. they little people too? My son and my daughter, my oldest two are little and my youngest is average. So she's already taller than her older sister. Like how was child, uh, child caring for you? Like childbirth? Like being pregnant? Yes, being no pregnant. No issues. No issues. No issues at all. I did have a C-section. Because all my pregnancy were normal, carried full term. Or maybe another little person with a smaller torso may have more complications than me. Now, I want to go back to the Jimmy Smack situation, right? Okay. After your video went out and went viral, there was another video that came out with him, and uh, I think that he showed up to a, a trans person's house and knocked on the door. What was your feelings about that when you first saw that video? Or have y'all had sexual relations before I even get it? We have not had sex. Ah. When I saw that video, I just thought about like, damn, there's a lot of men out there that- They like trans women. Or they want to try other things. When that video came out, he got so much backlash, and I did too. Um, I had people DMing me, telling me I need to go get tested, I'm a hoe, kill myself, because they associated me with him, and he was associated with this video. I have to wrap this up, because I need to know what is next for you. I'm working on dropping visuals with my EP, so that's why it's taking me a while. I've been dealing with these surgeries, being able to walk again, so it's been six months since my last one, and I'm about to work and get all my music out, my videos out, because my, my fans, Malie, <laughs> I can't even say it right. Family. Family, they are pressing me every day. Like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna really go hard. Because if I don't, and I never try, then I can't say that I tried. But make your money, and that's right. all you need to do is focus so I'm gonna on go the hard. band. Yes, go yeah. hard. Thank you so much for coming and being a guest on my show. This means a lot to me because I am your fan, Malie. Thank you so much for coming over Thank here you for having to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox. So you are always welcome back to come sit Thank on the you. couch with me.